Welcome back to Salam Media. It is now 20 minutes to 20 minutes to nine. We've had an interesting show this far. We chatted to Fiso Mazibuko, chatting all things cricket. Tell us a bit about the CSA Awards and what we can expect from the Proteas leading up to the West Indies tour. Earlier on, we chatted to the sports psychologist Lloyd Bemelman. He was telling us a bit more about the impact of, um, let's say, the psychological impact of media and the psychological impact of everything around sport and the impact it has on athletes quite an interesting um quite an interesting topic to chat about and this obviously comes around naomi osaka who dropped out of the french open due to um mental health issues and then later on she came out and said that she's been struggling with um bouts of depression um for the past few years so this is quite interesting to hear um her insight building up to this recently if you just missed it we chatted to zirk bota who told us a bit about his cape to rio um tour where he rode all the way from cape town to rio um quite an interesting story but right now we're going to be chatting to the citizen um cape town city um forward Okay, that's going to be telling us a bit more about their season and um, his thoughts on the 2020-2021 season under the circumstances and how he felt the season went for him and for his club, Cape Town City. Good evening. Assalamu alaikum, Fakhri. Um, thank you for joining me this evening. Uh, it's always a pleasure having you. I know that you have quite a hectic schedule just arriving um, in Johannesburg from the travels um, from Cape Town. Fakhri, looking back at your season, um, what do you make of it this far? I think uh, there's a lot of ups and downs, but uh, as a team, we managed to continue and to pull through. And I think that's, uh, that's important. And I think personally for me as a player, it's, it's been a good season. I've been scoring goals and I've been assisting. And I think that's important for for myself and keeping my confidence back. Yeah. I mean, let's chat a bit more about that. Um, you've also received a uh, Bafana Bafana call-up as well. Um, as a player... Under the circumstances, COVID hit, um, there was lockdown, no football was being played. And to bounce back like that and achieve everything that you've achieved this season, um, how does that make you feel knowing that um, you can overcome almost anything that you face in life? Yeah, just, you know, obviously with COVID, it hasn't been easy for everyone. I think, like, everyone suffered and... I think it was a different season compared to the others. Um, it was more working from home and being disciplined as a player and putting in the hard work behind the scenes. And but I have to give credit to our medical team and to our sports team. You know, they've been doing well and making us do Zoom sessions and all of that and doing all that they can. And also representing the national team, it's a good feeling. You know, there's lots of people in the country that would like to play for the national team. So for me, I feel honest and it's always a pleasure to play for the national team. Look, I can just imagine. And, you know, um, it almost sounds like we're talking of years ago when we look back and we think that the season was, 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 was cut short or almost cut short because of COVID-19 and the, the lockdown. And, I mean... An irregular season, never have we seen this in the history of South African football. And here you're the first person that, or the part of the first group of players that went through this. Um, what were some of the takeaway points that you can pass on to, let's say, um, God forbid it never happens again, but let's say the next generation that can, that will that experiences this, what would your words of advice be to them um, on how to undertake training in lockdown or during a pandemic? Obviously, it's, it's not easy, you know, being at home, it's easy to just chill with the family and just relax. But I think at the end of the day, it comes down to what you want and what you want to achieve. So we always have to have that in mind. And unfortunately, not just in football, but life in general, 
we faced with different challenges every day and COVID was one of them. So I think if you focus on the team and focus on what you want to achieve, that should be enough motivation for you to keep on going and do what you need to do and put you one step closer to achieving your goals. Hmm. And Fakhri, if we look at it now, we 29 games into the season, the last game to take place tomorrow. Um, looking at the citizen season, we finished seventh on the log this year on 41 points, or let's say is there still a chance that you can finish in sixth position. Um, looking at the performance from the entire team as a whole, um, what do you make of it? I think it's uh, we had a lot of challenges this season. But uh, overall, we've been doing well. We're still in the top eight, so going into tomorrow's game, we'd like to win and end as high as possible on the log. And I think the main thing is with all the challenges we faced, that the guys were always positive and always giving the all. So I think that uh, it speaks a lot about the team and the type of players that we have. Hmm. And starting the season off with um, Jan Olderikering, that was your coach, and now Eric Tinkler comes back for a second spell um, or with you guys. That didn't seem to unsettle the team in any way because you came back and you still showed class, um, giving coach Eric Tinkler a very nice homecoming. Yeah. Like I said, we have to give credit to the team. We have a good bunch of players and a good bunch of people. And obviously, I think what makes it easier for Coach Eric is not the first time he's been at the club. So everyone has been receiving him well and welcoming him well. So, yeah, I think everyone's excited to have him back and looking ahead of the new season. No, definitely. Fakhri, looking at the, the season, looking back at the season, what are some of your takeaways and some of your most memorable moments that you'll cherish from the season for quite a long time? Um, I think there's a few moments like scoring, scoring against my former team, Super Sport, and scoring uh, against Golden Arrows. Make it 4 2 because at that time they came to play as unbeaten. And just. Uh, being a part of this amazing team. Now I can just imagine. Um, and if you look forward to it, uh, we know that you're going to have a short break. And then after that, um, coming back, what can us and the South African public expect from the citizens come the 2021-2022 season? Obviously, coming back into the new season, we want to compete with things. And we want to do better. So we want to end high on the log. So, I don't want to make any promises, but people at home can expect from us to give it our best and go all out. No, definitely. And we set, we're certainly looking forward to that and um, everything that you guys will have to offer us. Fakhri, I know that you tired. Big game tomorrow. I don't want to keep you up anymore. Shukran so much for taking the time out of your evening to chat to me and give us a bit of insight on what life was like during the 2020-2021 season inside the citizens camp. Uh, shukran so much. Have a good evening further. No problem. Afwan. Cheers. Love you. That was Fakhri Lekay, the Cape Town City and Bafana Bafana midfielder telling us a bit about the 2020-2021 season and how exactly um, Cape Town City navigated their way through the season. It was an interesting one, by the way. If you look at it, it was the first time ever in the history of the PSL or any um, Premier League tournament in Africa, I mean, around the world, where um, the tournament came to a standstill due to COVID-19. And this threw teams a bit off but somehow they managed to bounce back and come back and still give us entertaining football and made us fall in love with the sport a bit more. Um, so it was quite interesting hearing from him how they navigated their way through this and also um, what we can expect from the team next season. Cape Town City did have a bit of a fight um, to, let's say, stay on top. Um, they obviously did set the bar quite high for themselves, because of where they finished the previous season. And this season, we've seen that um, Jan Older Rickering came in and he had quite an interesting spell at first. And 
the second half of the season didn't quite go his way, which seen Cape Town City um Cape Town City let him go. And Eric Tinkler came back in and he sort of brought um a new spirit and a new energy to his charges. This meaning Cape Town City winning their last game. Um, they now sit in a comfortable position where they could possibly end up in sixth position or even fifth if the other results go their way. So look, under circumstances, they still managed to finish um, in the top eight of the league. And if they take things a bit further, let's be hopeful and hopefully everything goes their way. They will be finishing in the top five this season. Not a bad finish at all. But I mean, the citizens will be looking for a, let's say, a league title very, very soon. Quite interesting to hear from them. But if you missed any part of the show and you'd like to go back on it, it will be available on Salah Media social media platforms. Um, we do know that the interviews that was held earlier with Zerk Bota, um, Fiso Mazubuko, and also the sports psychologist Lloyd Bemelman will be available. Quite interesting. If you missed it, I'll share it on my platforms. I'll make sure that Salah Media shares it again. Just amazing topics and conversations all around. I think that it's a good way to start our weekend and I hope that everybody out there is going to be safe, um, having a good weekend, staying indoors, it's quite cold in Johannesburg and let's just remember that COVID-19 is still around and let's mask up, let's sanitize and let's keep um, practicing social distancing and keeping as safe as possible. From myself, Akir Daud and the team, that's it from us this evening. I hope um, everybody has a good evening further and until next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.